another one on part-time builds. Today we got Mike, y'all know Mike from the channel. Uh, his Mercury, it's an 06 Grand Marquis. And as you've probably seen from the thumbnail, it's in low rider mode. And the compressor is no longer uh, compressing the rear airbags is what we're suspecting. Um, I'll put the clip in of it running when he starts. It just sounds god awful. And the rear end ain't coming up anymore. So we're gonna start, I don't know anything about these systems, so we're gonna learn as we go. But we're gonna start with trying to find it, suspect it's under this air box, and see if we can get it out. And I'm first I'm gonna take the airline off. From what I've looked into, it's a push lock connection. I'm gonna take the airline off and see if the compressor is even pumping air, which we're suspecting it's not off the way it sounds. If it's not, we'll take it off, see if we can mess with it, get it to work, maybe rig something up to get air to stay in the bags without the compressor until we can get a new one. Or try to just find a new one and replace it. But we'll take y'all along on the journey and see what we get into and Hopefully we can get it fixed today. Wanted to show you all this switch if you're doing anything on these Mercury's with the air suspension. If you go to jack these cars up, you need to make sure you turn the air suspension off right here. I just wanted to put that in there if you need to do anything with your bags or anything. We were just doing the compressor. We didn't have to jack anything up. But... If you need to, I'm going to put this in the beginning of the video. Uh, so I don't want anyone messing up their car. So And I found my salad bowl. And uh, Mike, Mike found a salad bowl. So this Been was a win-win. for six months. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with taking the air box off. You got your mass airflow sensor right here. Just a red clip. I'll show y'all when I pull it off the uh, hose clamp. And then you got three, from what it looks like, you have three 11 millimeter bolts. All right, so you got one here that's tucked way down in there. You got these two here, and then there's your mass airflow sensor when you take your air box off. And I'll bring y'all in here, and I can now see the compressor. So there's your compressor for your air suspension on this thing. That's why we couldn't see it. We could hear the noise from that clip, but we couldn't see it. So uh, see if I can get to an air fitting, and I'm already seeing a lot of corrosion on the side of the pump there but i'm gonna see if we can get to the air fitting on there and see if it's pumping air uh fill y'all in when we have an update so we can't really get to the airline on the back i'm gonna see if we can loosen up this washer reservoir and it looks like it's just two 11 millimeter bolts on top there see if we can get that loose he's got it full so i don't really want to drain it all out if we can get it loose and get enough slack to get it pulled up out of the way that airline is right connected right back there in the back and it'll give us better access to that pump. And if we have to take the pump out, it looks like we got to remove that anyway. So we're going to go ahead and get that out. Of the all way. right. So we ended up taking it all the way off. Um, so to get that off the two 11 millimeter bolts, show them the clips mic down there that we had to pull off the two. We've had two clips on it, those two. And then the actual washer line is tucked down there too. Yep. Right there. And pulled that off and we got it sitting in a bucket over here, but minimal spillage and now we have access to that airline um, see if we can get that off and have them start the car looks like it's coming right got something happening there we go so now we can start it and we can see the rattle can and see if it's blowing air out of there what it takes to get this off and I'll check back in and let y'all know. So found out how to get the compressor off. You got this is under the behind the front bumper on the driver's side. I got the as you can see I got the front driver wheel turned out so I can get my head in there. Might even be easier to turn it the other way but 
we you got 10 millimeter bolts so looks like three of them got one there one there and then one's tucked back in the back there let's see if i can get y'all in there and show you right there so that's your third bolt and then we should be able to lift that out but i just wanted to show you all where those were before we got too far ahead i already started that 10. So three 10 millimeter bolts behind the front bumper on the driver's side all right so got all the bolts off the bottom um i'm gonna start taking it loose from the top now um this looks like your suction side for your pump we're gonna pull that uh, we got electrical coming in right here i'm gonna cut these back so out of the way that's for your washer let's see all right so we got it loose oh that thing's that thing's bad got mike right now looking for a new one online because after we saw how crusty it is probably gonna need a replacement pretty crazy style clip they got on this i guess because it's compressor they need it to be in there pretty tight from the vibration but you got to pry both sides out i probably can't see because my big hands are in the way but. Somewhere. There we go. Four prong connection there. And that's it. I said though, guys, you got the two clips here and here that you got to pry out and pull up. And then you got your suction side hose pull off. The air out. Sorry, you couldn't see that. Air out right here that you got to get off. And then when I showed you under the front bumper there, you got your three bolts, three studs that go down to 10 millimeter bolts there. And this thing is pretty bad. And I can see now why we weren't able to spin that canister off. Is that screw right there. So we'll take that off. See how bad that canister is. But judging off the looks of this pump, we just need to find us a new pump. We got updates. All right. So just over $300 later at the local O'Reilly's after searching for a good hour to find one in stock. This was the only one in stock within 100 miles of us. And like I said, just over 300 bucks. That's lifetime warranty if you can save your receipts if you're not like me. I lose those um, but it comes with the new dryer and actually come it was actually nice came with the new filter and everything so we got the old one already popped off and just wanted to add in here that the old clapped out suburban saves another saves another newer fuel injected vehicle again so we're gonna get this thrown in here and I will it's same as how I took it out guys the three bolts the plug air in we'll get this mounted and then I'll give you all good update on that and show y'all what it looks like in the vehicle putting the bolt the nuts on the studs down below i just want to tell y'all this real quick i found for that one all the way in the front toward the front bumper it's a flange nut so if you set it in there it won't go it won't go down on your in your socket you can kind of guide it up with your finger because i found out my fingers are too big to get up there and twist that on so if you set it in your socket with a long extension you can kind of guide it with one finger and run it in from the bottom so that probably helps someone out so we got it in um, got it all plugged up. I'm gonna climb up under it. I'll get a good look at that. We got the clip on the new filter and this thing actually for the suction side everything fit exactly how it's supposed to go in there. It looks really close to the original. It said just over 300 bucks lifetime warranty and the lady told us she's never sold one in all her years working at O'Reilly's. So hopefully this ain't a common problem. The only thing sucks was it was 300 bucks. So it's kind of a pricey repair but hopefully it fixes the problem. So when you're uh Putting your washer back in your reservoir i just want to show you where these clips go you can't get them wrong they're different plugs that goes on the actual pump and then don't break this little one on the bottom it's in the bottom it's probably tell you your fluid's low uh, it's a little sensor down here uh, it's got a little clip on the side pop it in and out but and then your hose goes on the bottom of that pump i just want to show you all that before i put it back in well, this old plastic i'm just saying this old plastic don't at least i'm using small ratchet quarter inch dry uh, you don't want to crank the crap out of these things because plastic in an engine bay just gets old and brittle and you'll crack the flanges off and you gotta get you a new reservoir so be careful with those so, y'all can see I just spray it in that little opening right here and then spray out you can see where it comes out the end there and then this stuff dries really quick it's not harmful for that sensor so just make sure you use nice airflow sensor No, I need my marker. Oh, your marker back? Yeah. yeah. 
I got some important stuff to write later. I was hoping to hold on to that. That's a, that's a shot find. <laughs> Come in here, Mike, and show them. I can't get that wrong. There's a clip there. You put your little hose and pulling that hose off is just that right there. And clips, you're good. Little cone here goes in this hole here behind your breather for your your suction side of your filter. Top of your intake, clean mass airflow. Find our plug. All right, when you put that back on, put it in. And push your red clip back down so it don't come off. If it, this comes off or you forget to plug that in, you'll have a check engine light after this job. All right, guys, that's a complete install. We'll, uh, I'll take over the camera and have Mike jump in and start it, and we'll see if it ain't if it works for one and it ain't making that god-awful noise again. I don't know if y'all can pick that up on the camera, but that thing is running. I can hear it. And it is way quieter. You used to be able to hear that thing in the car. But that, it is working. We'll go to the back and see if it pumps it up. There you have it, guys. We got the Mercury out here running. Uh, ride height way better. Mike's happy with it. Um, we did end up having to disconnect the battery for a few minutes to reset the computer because it was throwing a code with the uh, with unplugging a mass airflow. Um, and I think that's because we started it to hear the old one with the intake off. And I had the mass airflow disconnected there, so it had a code stored in it. So we just disconnected the battery for a few minutes set it back in now we're not throwing any codes we're running smooth the compressor is way better than the last one quiet and you can't hear it now in the car you used to be able to hear it in the car and mike just shared with me that i should maybe think before i'd say prices out loud on these videos because now his wife's going to see this and see that he paid 300 dollars for that part and he told her it'd be about 100 bucks so sorry about that elizabeth um but the mercury's good now so i found a salad bowl but he did find a salad bowl so here we go hope it helps y'all out